Hello, 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 my peepers. This is Shalane the Color in Book Nook. I know this is going up late. This will be short because it is after 10 a.m. I just got up. I did. I slept. I needed the sleep. Okay. So today is the 27th. I believe it's because of the weather why I feel like this. So yeah, high of 45 with rain showers. Yeah, it's because of the rain. I have been worthless for the past three, two days. Today doesn't look any better. Rainy. I did. I took a nap. Yesterday, I did not feel like doing anything, but I did. I cleaned the family room and the bedroom. I washed the sheets on the bed. Folded laundry. Not all of it, just some of it. I have, I know it's the weather. I get this, I get this way with the weather. Just no energy. I sat in the recliner. I finished the book. Took me five to six hours to finish the book, even though there was only two hours left in the book. Yeah. That's how my day was. <laughs> <clears throat> and yes, I'm taking my vitamin D still and all the other vitamins and everything. It's just the weather. So the dog woke me up at 2 this morning. Then she woke me up again at 7 this morning. <clears throat> so I just kept sleeping. And she went out at midnight, so I don't know what her issue is. Oh, I smeared some of the brown. Okay, today is diamond paint day. I didn't even color yesterday. Nope. I was going to finish that picture. Never touched it. So, I did watch General Hospital. I finished season one of Legacies. Yesterday was National Pistachio Day. Yes. So there is that. Oh, I can check off that I did the family room and the bedroom. Today, I clean in here. Yep. I need to get groceries. I need to get some protein stuff in this house. Okay, so yep, yesterday bedroom, laundry, morning video, did not make my tea time. Finished Faithless in Death by J.D. Robb. Finished Season 1 of Legacies and watched General Hospital. Today is cleaning in here, my morning video, um, tea time video, flip through video, crafter zoom is at 11, I don't think I'll be making that, and Hallmark has a new movie on tonight, yep, diamond paint, Scott does not work overtime this weekend, so I'm hoping we want to go I want to go visit my parents now this is Saturday there's no word of the day but we got our wisdom quotes wisdom quotes 
see, today's is You will never reach your destination if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks by Winston Churchill. <laughs> I don't throw stones at dogs that bark. But I don't think they mean it like that. Winston Churchill. Get that one more day. One more day of this month. Yes, it is Saturday, February 27th. Can you believe it? It's been two months since Christmas already. Okay, update on Lisa Bradley. <clears throat> She, her daughter did message me this morning and said that mom is getting better. She's pulling through. Hopefully it stays that way and she can come home when she is much better. So that is really, really good news. I'm happy to hear that. So, yeah, that's good news. Okay, live streams this morning. Or today. Oh my gosh, I told you this is going to be short. I got to clean that kitchen. I have dishes from two nights piled up because I had have no energy. And it's the weather. It's nothing else going on because this is how I get. With, in the spring, when spring starts coming and the temperatures rise and all it does is rain. Rain, rain, rain. Okay, so it's Saturday. These are Eastern Standard Times. 11 a.m. Color and chat with Sammy. 1 o'clock might be Shell Artie. 2 o'clock addicted to coloring. Um, 2 o'clock is Dreamer Craft Corner. 3 o'clock is the Bookish Knitter. Also, Robin loves reading and all the things. Four o'clock, Color with Donna. Also, Amazon Tammy. 5.30 is CBC Color and Book Club. Also, The Diamond Lady. 7 p.m. is Appetite for Coloring and Mindy's Diamond Moment. 8 p.m. is Diamond Painting with Abigail Marie 007. 9 p.m. is DP Addiction Adventures. 10 p.m. is Shine Like a Diamond, and 11 p.m. is Jeremy JTMJ Crafts. Yes. So, if you want something to do, just check everybody. There is all kinds of streamers on during the day. There's pop-up lives a lot, too. So, oh, this is only nine minutes. Wow. What do we want to talk about? So I went and looked up again. I used to have a list of the top foods that have protein and low carbs. So I made a list so when I go shopping. So we have eggs, which I, I have eggs every morning. Cottage cheese, which I love cottage cheese. Turkey breast, but not the deli meat too much because that's not as healthy. I never know how to pronounce this. Quino. 
fruit is guava, fish is halibut, salmon, haddock, and trout, which I like all four. Pistachios, which I love. Um, Greek yogurt, which I love. Hemp protein powder, which I could put into like my yogurt. Um, I could add it to probably my coffee. I don't know. I might have to go check that out. And almonds, which I like. So I need to go to the store and... Protein always wakes me up, and I think I've had too many carbs the past couple days. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I need to, and I know in the freezer section they have what's called protein bowls, but it seems like every time I've checked those out, they had a lot of carbs. So we will see. And I know I can have some carbs. I can't go no carb. And, you know, nutritionists for diabetes say you can have like 30 grams per meal. But yet, if you do keto, you're not even supposed to have 30 grams per day. So we will see. We will see. I do like to have a bagel in the morning with my eggs, but... I don't have them in the house very often. So, yeah, just trying to eat healthier. I know just fruit and vegetables, but fruit's got carbs, but I, I'm going to count them as the good carbs. So I'm going to get me some berries and some almonds and pistachios, cottage cheese. So I like my cottage cheese. Seems like I've had, qu qu is it quino? And I don't care for it. But everything else I like. So, um, hurting lies not too bad. Just blah, no energy. <laughs> so, yeah, Faithless in Death. I finished that yesterday. It was really good. It's by J.D. Robb. And it's her latest book. I love the series. It Oh my god. So she she mean and Eve Eve Dallas is solving a murder, of course, and it all seems to tie into this cult. Now this cult is very abusive to women physically, mentally. They are pretty much used just for having babies um they're not allowed to watch tv no telephones i mean some of them have tvs but they're only allowed to watch an hour a day all they're allowed to do is clean the house you can only clean the house so much i don't care so yeah it was really good and this cult is throughout the United States and they have some where, that are farms where they get like their dairy from and their meat and their veg their produce all that comes from the other parts of the cults that have the cult that has farms so yeah so then she has to get the FBI involved in it because it's out of her jurisdiction and so they're happy to help her take this cult down and they get the women and the children away because some of the women don't want to be there they were like kidnapped and brainwashed and you can't have mixed marriages it's it's um not right you're not allowed to have sex before you're married, um, you cannot be gay, all of that is unnatural to them and you get punished. Yeah, so that's how this book was and it was really, really good. I really liked it. So I will have the book down below. I'll, you know, I always put in book mentioned. Um, I don't know if I'll be reading today. 
I want to work on the newsletter, what I have so far. And um, I want to do a flip through of a coloring book and work and talk about um, the tea time. So that is it for today. And I will see you all in the morning. I love you guys. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.